lessons, if any, did this team learn from the playoff game up there two years ago that, that you want them to be thinking about still at this time of year now? You know, it's every every year is different. Every game's different. It's, you know, that team was very different from our current team. I, I think there's a lot of lessons to be learned from the last two weeks for sure. Um, certainly there's guys here that played in Arrowhead, so you're familiar with the stadium. But this this is a different team, and, and so we, you know, expect a different ex experience. You know, it's, it's hard. I mean, you know, as, obviously you're there, and I was there in a different role. But there's, there's things to be learned in that perspective. But just no one, more importantly, is how we evolve week to week with this group of guys. Were you ever discouraged in being did you ever have any doubt during two and four? Oh, I don't get discouraged about that. I mean, I mean you know, there's, there's multiple ways to look at things. And that's, uh, as I've stated before, it depends how your mindset is. I mean, some, some people, they look at every minor setback as some catastrophic and they go in the tank. I never look at that. Or, whether we win or lose, we're looking to improve and to grow. And I, we've stayed with that all season. Figuring out, okay, you know what? It's time to step on their neck right here, right now. How do you go about? Is that gut, or is it something you? No, you, you try to prepare all week and, and plan for certain situations, and, and then obviously certain situations in the game make you adapt. But felt good about that call all week, and whether it was there or we were going to use it at some point early in the game, and the opportunity presented itself, and and Ryan made a heck of a throw, and Khalif ran an, an awesome route. How much has Khalif done to earn that kind of trust? Not a lot of people would put somebody like Khalif in that situation. Yeah, that's, I think that's one of the better things of, of the culture that's been set here is those guys work and they all believe if, if we put them out there, if they're active, they're going to have a role. And I got a lot of belief in Khalif as all, any guy that stepped up in there. So if they're out there, we get belief in him and trust and he's proven that he's earned those opportunities. Right, when you call that the, the jump pass uh, near the goal line there, what, is there an initial reaction from, from Mike that was maybe a little, I don't know, surprise or, or anything like that? or? or no, he, he and I talk all week, and it helps. You know, he's, he's very creative in his own right, and he allows us to, to take risk. But those are all talked about during the week and, you know, meet with him constantly. So it's not like it came out of left field and he looks at it. I mean, he, he and I are on the same page. Do you, do you think you've taken, you've grown uh, more confident in taking risks as the year has gone on, or, or what are your thoughts on that? I don't know about, you know, growing I, I don't look at them as huge risk, and I didn't early in the season. Uh, you know, it's just we've evolved as an offense in certain situations. And, you know, hopefully, and that's the way I kind of look at everything, is you imp I, I've imp hopefully improved from week one to where we are now, week 19. No different than hopefully I'm a better person than I was at 21 than I am right now at 37. So, you know, I, I, I would have felt, you know, there are certain risks. You, know, you could look back, go back to the Cleveland game that we took. You know, we threw, threw a shot to A.J. Brown early in that game. I didn't feel any different about that call than I did to Khalif's call in Indianapolis. Do you think you've maybe been a little bit more aggressive down the red area um, or, or in, play, in territory down there because of the uncertainty of the kicking situation? You've tried so few field goals this year. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not my territory. I just, I just worry about the offense, and every time we get down there, our mentality is we, we just score touchdowns. And, you know, whether, you know, we kick 50 field goals or 10, it doesn't matter to me. Well, you know, I was actually surprised I got out there. So, <laughs> you know, I said, said something to the old man about, uh, you know, usually he's a vault, but uh, didn't didn't really want to get out. I, I talked to many people just about leadership lessons. Uh, very grateful that he took the time. And, and, you know, I know he's in between, but he's, he's it's a different st uh, strategies and whatever, but I'll keep a lot of that stuff private. But he, he's been helpful. Grateful said how much he enjoys the process, and you all enjoy the process of looking at the red zone. Uh, each week, and you've had 13 different players score red zone touchdowns right. this season. How much fun are those meetings and, and the fact that you know you guys can find a different guy in there at any given time? It's a lot of fun. I mean, those are, those are really the, the part I enjoy about the week. You know, before you ever get to Sunday is going there and planning. And it goes back to the question I asked. You know, we, we got a lot of belief in whoever's, whoever's up, whoever's in there on game day, and, and those guys are doing a great job. And so everybody's involved, so everybody feels like they got a role. Well, he, he's, he's got a lot of knowledge in a lot of different areas uh, from his perspective as a player and a coach and different, you know, his different experiences. And that's what we like about our whole staff. You know, we don't, 
we don't want a lot of group think and we got we put ideas out there and so we go through them and and, and we, as we go through to put plays in or certain packages and it allows you creativity and freedom so he's been very beneficial to us in that i know mike is, is right about the receivers they have maybe been as involved in passing game in recent weeks but have done well as blockers how's their attitude how's their attitude been and uh, what do you say to those guys in the week maybe you know you're not going to throw them the ball as well, well you know you know, we're not. I don't think you go into the game thinking that you're going to, you know, play like the service academies. But you go in there, and it, the game may evolve. And if the opportunity presents itself, we'll, you know, we'll put the ball in the air 40 times. But those guys have done a great job. It goes back to the culture that's been set, and they and they believe. You know, I just ask those guys. You know, we talk about taking all 11, but they're still waiting for their Rolexes. So if you go back and look at some of those really big runs, I think off the top of my head, Corey's had some big blocks down the field. So has Tajay. All those guys, AJ. So they're all involved. With the, those guys have done a good job. Rolex? I did not. Don't need one though. Those guys, it's like the players out there making the plays. Because of their athletic ability, does it benefit you from preparing for Lamar Jackson last week going into preparing for Patrick Mahomes? They'd have to ask the defense that. Just very, very fortunate that we're in this opportunity, and that's what it is. It's a, it's a great opportunity for us, and feel very fortunate to be here.